today this will be our fifth class on vocabulary in these five classes we have gone through 100 words within a short span of time or you can say when i say a short span of time within 5 days we have been able to complete these 100 words when i use we this first person pronoun i feel myself as a student like you being a student myself i can share my experience my knowledge with you because i consider myself as a learner as in the previous class i told you always try to be a good learner this process of learning never ends it is a continuous process so i will keep inspiring you to acquire a good vocabulary if you want to qualify one of these exams this inspiration and motivation is very important i give you an example of my father he was a senior official in the ministry of railways after retirement at the age of 74 he did llb he took this degree of law from the university of delhi as a regular student he was very much determined to do that law and he did it it was his tenacity that made him successful finally to get that degree similarly i tell you if you are determined to do something you can do it very easily but you will have to take some pain no gain without pains so i will keep motivating you to improve your vocabulary and achieve your goal you are a source of inspiration for me this camera before me doesn't inspire me when i see my students before me i get inspired i can speak a lot but this camera makes me feel nervous even then looking at your feedback i feel inspired and i would always try to share my knowledge share my experience with you dear students if you have not subscribe the channel yet please do subscribe it let me start going through these last 20 words the first one is malign means to defame to spoil the image of somebody to dishonor to vilify the next word is placate this is word it means to mollify to soothe to appease the next word is proscribe to defame to dishonor to denigrate the next word is verbose means 
long winded wordy windy this is an adjective the next word is grandiose this is again an adjective splendid majestic real monumental the next word is intrepid this is again an adjective bold courageous brave fearless the next word is tacit implied implicit unexpressed the next word is precarious means serious very bad grave this is an adjective the next word is credence this is a noun faith belief trust the next word is claustrophobia this is a noun means a feeling of fear and discomfort living in a narrow or closed space the next word is vex this is a verb to disturb the peace of mind of someone by disagreeable acts to irritate to make somebody feel annoyed to peeve the next word is abdicate this is a verb to renounce to surrender to step down from the next word is repudiate this is again a verb means to reject to disapprove the next word is edify this is again a verb it means to enlighten to nurture to educate to illuminate the next word is inimical this is an adjective unfriendly unsympathetic hostile inhospitable the next word is pusillanimous this is again adjective lacking in courage chicken hearted spineless gutless the next word is cogent this is again an adjective means compelling convincing pertinent reliable decisive the next word is imbroglio means quarrel altercation dispute disagreement this is a noun the next word is trepidation this is a noun means fear anxiety horror terror scare fearfulness the last word is egalitarian this is a noun as well as an adjective one who advocates and practices for social equality as an adjective you can use like this egalitarian society so in this way we have completed another group of 20 words
in this fifth class on vocabulary. Dear students, I hope you must be going through these words and must have found these words useful for you. I am pretty sure that these words will help you in attempting reading comprehension. I have selected these words on the basis of my teaching experience gathered over a long period of time. Such words keep appearing in the reading comprehension very often and if you are able to retain the meanings of these words in your mind, if you try to memorize their meanings, I will not say that you have to do the rote learning like students of junior classes, no, just try to memorize these words, try to keep their meanings in your minds. If their meanings are clear to you, they will also help you at the time of writing an essay, because when you write an essay, your language should be very good. Even at the time of writing a pressing, these words will help you. So, go through these words and try to memorize their meanings. Dear students, please do like and share this video. Do not forget to hit the button subscribe, press the bell icon on all to get updates. Stay fit, stay healthy.